Yes, I'm so hungry. I need some food. I haven't had dinner, so I'm gonna heat up my dinner soon. SB, she gave me full permission to post that. So, thank you, M. Bean. I have dinner late because, well, I was out and, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I usually am up late, but today I woke up like at 6.45. Yes. Um, I plan on keeping my friendship, you know, my new friendships private. But I just want to say, <laughs> um, and uh, this person is amazing in like every way. Like I, I've never met somebody so nice in my entire, um, in my entire life. Like honestly, like I don't know, <laughs> like just such a nice, nice, nice person. Like I don't know. So we just went to a cafe, and um, yeah, I was just like, wow, I felt like spoiled and like a princess like just completely spoiled you know and um yeah she brought me flowers and i was like wow and she just you know very very loving person very loving person very nice very caring um had some really nice conversation so yes um if you're watching thank you so much for a special night and you are very sweet and uh yeah it's not i've never met i've never met somebody with that energy before in my life like i don't know I, i'm telling you like People from the Middle East, like, I'm telling you, it's a whole new level of hospitality. Um, so loving. Like, I, I just can't. <laughs> I'm not going to say, like, where she's from, where I met her, blah, blah, blah. That's, I'm going to keep all that private. But, um, yeah, I have a new friend, you know. Um, I went on a date, a friend date, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, very nice, very nice. Very nice. I, I was taken aback. It's so, it's so nice to have, I guess, um, white flowers are for friendship, right? I don't know. Ooh, just so amazing. Like, honestly, I had the nicest, nicest time. Spent a couple hours, like, just talking and, you know? Yeah. Her teeth are very white. Yeah, she's very gorgeous. Very cute. Yes, she speaks English. So, yeah, she's she's just really, really nice. And um, that's a, yeah, I had a really nice time. I'm sure some of you were probably curious about, you know, beautiful fat flowers. Yeah. Yeah, somebody, you know, just very caring and just so nice. Like, I can't, I can't explain it. So glad baby got a new kind friend and enjoyed her time together. Thanks, baby. Ready to start rebies. <laughs> yeah, she said hi to him, but when he picked me up, glad you made a new friend. Thank you. Good to have some girlfriends. Yes. I don't need to have a lot of friends, but even just having one here, a good one, and, uh, you know, dumpster diving. <laughs> no, <laughs> he didn't play crazy. <laughs> Why are you surprised someone speaks English? <laughs> yeah. Quality over quantity. Exactly dumpster diving actually Capone it was nice to have you know that one friend she was skinny uh in Canada and she was able to fit into the dumpsters the locked ones because you can still open the locked ones <laughs> all you need is loyal friends makes all the difference yes got about 90 seconds before the kiwi farms thread is up she's also Muslim yes so glad you made a friend there this will be really good for you thank you thank you Rashu actually I like just people are just so kind like I had such a good time because like you know we went walking around um a bit and I went to the washroom and this um this other woman another hijabi lady i was walking out and she went mashallah you are so beautiful and i was just like wow thank you and then when we were leaving um another woman she talked to me in arabic but i didn't speak arabic so you know my friend interpreted what she said and she was like you are so beautiful and i'm just like what these people are so nice oh my gosh chantelle's skinny friend <laughs> yeah. yeah she's very 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 gorgeous uh, on the outside, but her heart is larger than her whole being. Like, she's so amazing. Wonderful person, honestly. So, so, thanks, babe. And she knows all my, my lore, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, she brought me flowers. <laughs> yeah, nice, eh? I think white ones mean friendship, I'm not sure. Very special. Like, this made my whole, like, I swear, week. <laughs> I honestly think it's because people are so cruel to you online that normal people seem very sweet to you. Maybe SB, but she just, yeah, like this, is this, like, this is not normal. Like, I've never had a friend of even like a million years treat me this way, you know? <laughs> like, she's, I, I don't know. Of course, I'm going to do something nice for her, yes. But I'm keeping my friendship offline. <laughs> and we're just, you know, just wanted to let you guys know that, yeah, I made a friend because you guys are always saying, you know, you know, nobody, nobody wants to be my friend. But um, 
yeah, I do, I do, I did really enjoy myself and it was very nice. And flowers. <laughs> I saw this like really pretty girl, uh, woman with flowers and I was like waiting, you know, and then, yeah. I was like, are those for me? <laughs> Give her Beezer spray. Yeah. <laughs> I need to put them in a vase with water. Yeah, I got you. Maybe the vase I used to drink out of. <sighs> yeah, I came live to update you. Well, I'm, I meant to do a live anyways, but... No, the lamp is from over there, and I just moved it here. <laughs> you should also dress like her. <laughs> Maybe someday. It's good to protect her from online people. Yeah, for sure. Well, she does now. So, yeah. So, um... Y'all are overdoing the emojis. Is she a model? She could be. <laughs> but no. I'm, I'm honestly really glad I, I went... Justine, I'm just keeping like things like that private for now and just, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's gonna, it's bound to happen, but who cares? I don't care. I just wanted to share with you that I'm mostly sharing it not to be like, haha, I have a friend. Like I do have some friends, but I just did it because I wanted to like express how amazing this person is. Like I've never in my life met some, like met a friend, a girlfriend who has been so caring, loving, just like, I can't explain it. Do you guys know what I mean? Like, she's, I don't know. Are you feeling better today? Yeah. Yeah, I did my treadmill already this morning. It set me up for, you know, a good day, I feel like. So, she sounds, she is magical. Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah, I told her what beezing means. No, nothing like that. You can have a very loving friendship with a person, and it's just platonic, please. Yeah, I wore this. I wore this out. And I got a lot of compliments from other women. So, yeah. I'm glad you have friends. That definitely improves the quality of your life. I see your happiness you have. Yes. Oh, yeah, I need to have dinner. So, yeah. Thank you, Momo. So far, I'm back on track. Yeah, I've been on track today. I cooked before I went out. I was, um, I had a very productive day. I woke up and I went on the treadmill before eating which I showed in my vlog, then my breakfast, and then I threw in some laundry. Yeah, I feel good. Yeah, I feel better. <clears throat> was a nice boost in mood. <laughs> so yeah, and then I um, had lunch at some point, which was, I took a picture of it. I had Brussels sprouts and I tried no butter. It was fine. I just had a little bit of sea salt. I had a tuna sandwich on multigrain with one tablespoon of mayo. Um, I cooked. And then I had um, one baby bell cheese and one packet of crisps of chips for the sandwich i love having chips with my sandwich anyway you should see the amount of chips in that bag it's like this many like 70 calories 73 calories then what else did i have that's it for my lunch that filled me up until like now I'm starting to feel hungry and then um you know i had a cappuccino when we went out and she bought me this little set of like little little like peanut butter cookies or something and um they were so good and then i had one and so far that came with three and um what else did i have oh yeah so i made so i made my lunch laundry cleaned the kitchen floor did the dishes um oh yeah if you want babe and then uh clean the living room up the table was cluttered um she's very pretty yes brooke and then um what else did i get oh so then i made butter chicken and rice so yeah, that's what I did. And now I have to just heat it up. And then I laid down because I was kind of tired because I'm switching my sleep pattern around and I woke up so freaking early. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I gave one to Salah because, but these are the cookies, basically. It's like chocolate peanut butter bites or something. It's supposed to be like lower in sugar too. You know how cafes have some like health desserts. And um, yeah, so I'm giving one to Salah. Came in this box. <laughs> So yeah, I had that cappuccino, some water. Thanks, babe. Here you go. I'm so glad that you enjoyed your time, babe. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was so awesome. So yeah, and that's all I ate so far today. So now I'm gonna have some butter chicken. Protect this friendship. Don't give out any information. I'm not at all. No, no, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> it had two yolks. See, they do exist. Awesome teardrop too. I don't know. You can buy a whole carton of them where I'm like in Canada. I don't know, they must engineer the chickens that way. It's not very, I don't know, maybe they just, it happens and then they just collect those eggs, you know? I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I know. And I bet you will do a homemade cooking or order something. Um, I have, uh, I cooked butter chicken. Do you want some? Oh, nice. Yeah. Maybe after you finish. Okay. okay. Yeah. Enjoy your meal. Thanks, babe. <laughs> yeah. Hey, H. Alt. Thank you, H. Alt. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for the super sticker. <laughs> Long time. Hope you've been well. Twins? Aw. Bonus yolk. Thank you so much. It freaked you out. You get a bonus. The yolk is the best. I'm sorry. But the best is when it's like over easy and you the yolk breaks, but the white is like cooked and then you dip the toast. Backyard chickens. Oh, nice. Hey, Vanessa. Oh, really? You live in Frankfurt? Yeah, I flew through Frankfurt that one time. No, he's not starving. Oh, it's well, it's still in the work. I'm still working on my health. Dippy, dippy eggs. Yeah. Egg yolk on steak tartare. You're starving, babe? We can eat together after the stream, I guess. I don't know. I'm very hungry right now, though. I'm just ignoring, you know. Yeah, that's it. If you, um, that's my new motto, what I'm trying to do. If you want my attention and then you, you know, it's negative energy you're giving to me, you can keep it. And people can just believe whatever they want about me now. I don't care. Um... But I think somebody's been trying to get, like, I blocked her everywhere in her email because she was sending me emails. Like, really weird. I don't know. And then I think she made another account or sent from another account and was sending me really, really weird emails, like, um, accusing me of, like, coming after her kids and, like, really paranoid sounding emails. I don't think she's okay. So I'm just not engaging. That's it. You know? <laughs> oh, they already posted your thumbnail. <laughs> I'm not surprised, Lizzie. They're a little obsessed. Yeah, Sarah. Yeah, I'm so much happier ignoring it. You see how I am? You know, I know you guys like when I rage, but no, thanks. Page five. I just got your, I just understood your reference. Wings of Redemption, page five, right? Did you see Boogie, his, um, in bed, his, uh, shark session? I've never heard anything like that. And that's coming from me. That was like a guttural, came from the depths of his bowels. You know, when someone's paranoid and they like make all these weird accusations, that's exactly what, like, like accusing me of like abusing the healthcare system. Like, what? like I pay for my healthcare, what? It's really weird. I know, right? Yeah. I watch Law Cow Live. It's my like guilty pleasure a bit. I watch it like here and there. I don't know, they make, it makes me laugh. I don't know. Yeah, trailer trash, poor Desi. She was probably stuck to a corner. <laughs> you should have heard it. I'm telling you, it was nasty. Us locals know when someone is abusing the system and you're not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right? Like, everyone has a right to healthcare when they need it. Like, no matter what you suffer from, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It is really funny. It can be. Their dynamic is funny. Oh, I teardrop Boogie2988. He's like a YouTuber. He's been on YouTube for a long time. Very controversial. Um, and he did this members-only stream. I don't... People paid $5 to be a member to watch him lay in bed beside a CPAP, letting out the most disgusting gas, like worse than anything you've ever heard, I swear. Even Keemstar was like, let's listen to that again. Just listen to this. And his wife is like very thin, okay? And I'm just picturing her being blown to the corner of the room, stuck to a wall, and she was just like... <laughs> so, yeah. It was just nasty, but it was just funny, I guess. I don't know. I swear, I've never heard anything. And that's coming from me. I've never heard anything like that in my life. I, I, I swear. It's a, it's a Guinness record. I'm choosing my own energy. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I mean, why am I going to engage in, in nonsense, you know? No. No, no. <laughs> Teardrop these horrible people. <laughs> I know he cops a lot of hate, but the guy's smart. He runs Drama Alert. He also created one of the biggest combat sports news sources. I don't, yeah, I don't really know, like, his whole lore. I don't have anything really against him, honestly. Like, where are you going? No. Come see mom. Come see mom. Come see mom, I said. Oh! See, she doesn't like being held sometimes. It was a members-only stream, but, hey, Simply Roushing, he did, he lied about, like, his lie was weird. He didn't, like, he apparently has, like, a condition called, um, oh, I can't remember, that can technically become cancerous. So I think he just like jumped the gun and just told everyone he had cancer when they're still trying to find out if he has that. 
version of his illness, but he does have that illness. But yeah, he technically did lie about having cancer, so they're they're punishing him. He had to tattoo liar on his face and everything. Oh, Polyvera, yeah. Yeah, Polyvera or something. Lying like it is. <laughs> yeah, technically, eh? Lied about it for the clout. And he still gets crap for it. He had to go in public and hold up a sign and say, I lied about having cancer hit me with a water balloon. And people were whipping him with water balloons. <laughs> it was funny. So, yeah. The tattoo was fake. That's what they say because it's fading already. Maybe he told him not to make it like too intense. But he can cover it with his beard. He spoke way too soon, yeah. He didn't make any money, so I don't think he meant to scam people for money over it. I think he just like wanted the attention maybe from it. Like pity, you know. He did the crypto scam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he likes, I don't know. But people do buy into that stupid crypto stuff, you know. Anyway. The only thing I'm buying is more Babybel cheese. So I'm doing my, my stream earlier because I'm just so tired and I'm hopefully going to go to bed at a decent hour. Princess Yasmin, please don't ever stop live streaming. Even though I barely chat in the live chat, I love to hear your voice and hear you talk and funny jokes. Oh, thank you, Princess Yasmin. Thank you so much for the kindness and for the super chat. I appreciate it. I want my baby bill, baby bill, baby bill cheese. <laughs> like I want my baby back ribs. I'm just freaking hungry. What am I going to have? Maybe a piece of bread and cheese while I'm waiting for dinner. I'll be right back. Oh, it's nice to have a clean kitchen. Babe, I'm going to, uh, when I get off, I'll warm up your dinner. If you want it now, let me know, okay? Pepsi Zero. Baby Bell Cheese. Oh. Fresh cream. Dacus. I mean, Macdus. I always do that. Fresh lemon? Okay, that's a good idea. Is this still good? expires uh oh the 20th do you think it's still good it smells good expire the 20th whatever who cares let's try it mm. sorry but i'm so starving i haven't eaten since like 11 30. <laughs> I guess I have more than enough calories left. Yeah, I saw that. Page five. This man is very disturbed. He's not normal. He, he needs help. Honestly, I feel happy. Like, I feel happy that I've met good people because I think, like SB said, I'm so used to, like, being surrounded by, like, only the online world. And it's mostly, like, other... You guys make it worthwhile. But I'm surrounded by, like, a lot of hate and negativity. You know? So I'm trying to surround myself with loving people. I didn't eat in nine hours. Not good. So now I'm hungry. Mm. Oh my gosh, that fresh cream. And this eggplant stuff. You're right. And sometimes when you live your whole life online, you forget, you know? And honestly, that made me a bit skeptical. And I even said this, like, because I'm so used to being betrayed by people online <laughs> and just you learn to, you you kind of don't realize it but you just kind of become more jaded and you don't trust people you know you don't know what people's intentions are you know mm. two servings per container 155 calories so I'll put half in my, I don't know, <laughs> babe, she turned on you, actually. Leon! You don't trust people at all? Mint cap? The small inner circle, yeah. Run. Talking on Twitter about Kiwi Farms trying to find the identity of your new friend by her smile. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, Poetic, I try not to let it make me jaded, you know, but... You too, Otter League. Let them prove yourself first. <laughs> yeah, no, I had a really wonderful day. And I, in you know how you have like instincts? With some people, no, my instincts don't work. But I just got a really good vibe, you know? Very loving vibe. So, yeah. 
I mean, I've never had a friend. The only person who's ever brought me flowers, honestly, Salah. So to have really beautiful friendship flowers, that's really amazing. I gotta put them in a vase, a vase, and keep them up in case the cat. Yeah, true, page five. It's weird, eh? Looking for her with her smile. Yeah, it's creepy. It is creepy. She can wear regular. A lot of people wear regular clothing here. I'm wearing regular clothing. Yeah, I was just like, it's just weird, you know, I don't know. I don't I have a, like a friend. So what? Everyone has friends. So yeah, so after this, um, I'm probably going to eat with Salah. What do they mean by regular clothing? I don't know. Probably SB. Thinking with my Western brain, probably like a baya. I used to think like most people in the Middle East wore burqas. Like I was ignorant. I didn't know until I moved here. It's totally different than what people think, you know, and I lost a, a, quite a few subscribers. Um, I do have an Insta fella. It's, um, I forget it. In the description of my videos, you'll find it. Hey, Bailey. Yeah, she's very cute. Very cute. Yeah. Very nice. Very beautiful lady. Inside and out. Oh, yeah. My post about Palestine. The same people who don't like me for my opinion are the same people leaving, like, super hateful comments like in favor, you know what I mean? With the opposite opinion. So it's like, if you can voice your opinion, so can everyone else, you know? In Afghanistan, they wear burqa. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Kuwait is not Afghanistan. Not by a long shot. <laughs> I do need long hijab. Like this one is not, it's long, but it's like normal long, but it's just the way I'm, I'm wearing it right now. Um, Like this. And then I have this part that kind of flows in the back. So I like black ones. I can't help it. I don't know why. <laughs> I just like them. I'd probably have a better color to match my dress, but yeah, burqa covers everything but your eyes. And even then there's like a mesh. Um, I might celebrate Halloween. Oh, under my Palestine post. Oh, okay, Pam, I'll check it out. Thank you for thinking of me. Very long and lightweight. Yeah, there's some really nice, beautiful ones. But did you know some people will argue, some people are very, you know, have some people have the opinion that the whole purpose of hijab is to hide beauty. So a lot of people don't like when the hijab is beautified. You know, it's not supposed to be like a fashion statement beauty thing. <laughs> but I mean, we're women. It's hard to. <clears throat> it's not our fault if the hijab looks nice, you know. <laughs> hijab exposes the natural beauty. Even if you wear a niqab, if you have gorgeous eyes naturally, you know. Hey, C Roller. We have not seen the collector yet, teardrop. <laughs> we haven't had. We Probably the next movie we're going to watch. Yeah, the, the burqa would hide more, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hijab is meant to be like an anti-fashion thing. Yeah, and it's supposed to be very loose-fitting. And, and in modern times, you know, like this is even kind of, you know, uh, there's like butterfly abayas. They're very form-fitting and stuff like that. <clears throat> Just depends on the person, I guess, what they believe. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to fit a two liter of soda under the niqab. I did that? Yeah, it should be a choice, right? And it's, um, people disagree. There's people who think that it's, ordained like it's it's mandatory according to islam and then there's people who don't i don't believe that it is but that's my opinion um you found my channel through a hate channel found my channel through a hate channel the disgusting smoker voice there's a few which one no, thank you fella your friend was dressed nice and very modest yes no i'm i'm over it i, I lost my my temper on him but I got, honestly, I met you through reaction channels and I started to follow you. I'm glad I did. Oh, thanks, Anna. I appreciate that. The chat was so too pissed. Pa really? Yeah. Um, yeah, I heard some of the things they said. It's, um, I don't know, a weird, I don't know. I have SB, uh, you know, I don't think YouTube cares. I really don't. Love you have a new friend. Are you worried of me? No. No, she's not worried about it. She wouldn't have told me I can post that. So, if she was worried. She said, here, I'll cover my face. You can totally post me. Whatever. <laughs> she doesn't get in on the drama or anything, but she's, she's, you know. I don't think you'll, wh where do you live in the West? Like, is it? I don't think you would get discriminated. You know what? If you do, that's on them. Don't worry about them and their opinion. Do what you feel is right, you know? Drama. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I don't understand the drama. Honestly, SB, I don't either. I really don't know why there's drama. I don't... Um, I really just bees and live my life. I don't get it. You know, I don't know why there's drama about me. Like, how I, how I look. How I cross the streets. Um, I don't know. Um, I would just say, like... A lot of you would be surprised with how many reverts even you know people who were raised muslim women who were raised muslim have trouble wearing the hijab so they from what i understand like you know you can just pray to allah and ask him you know about like having strength to wear the hijab but it's up to you it's your choice and it's not if you want to ease into it you know there isn't drama about you they make it up and they use your past because they wouldn't have a channel yeah i think so bailey you're right i went through many phases of like spirituality i went from like most of my life I was agnostic, then atheist, then a believer, and I've stayed a believer since that. As a kid, I wasn't sure. Wow, Jasmine, that's awful. Shouldn't be an excess fashion accessory. I worked with three Muslim sisters, two wore the hijab and were very into traditions, and one didn't follow any traditions. She was their wild one. Yeah, some people don't, but they still they still worship a uh, God. It's no one's job to judge anyone other than Allah, because you only see, you know, you see the person from the outside. But only God knows what's in your heart, your intentions. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to be um, accountable to anyone but yourself and to God, like, honestly. Or, like, you know, this is the point. They hate on top and manipulate the people and bring more stuff to be their own zombies and send them money. Yeah. <laughs> Perspective is poison. It's about your connection to God, exactly. No, I didn't say I was wearing it as a fashion accessory. I made a joke that the benefit, one of the benefits of wearing hijab is covering my friggin' head. But I was joking. And I was like a brand new Muslim at the time. I follow this person called Unity Al Dajjal and she actually disrespects hijab. She makes sure. In your eyes, you lie but I don't let it define you. Oh, define you. I try to find love in someone else. That's not why I wear the hijab. That's not why. Because when you think about it, obviously it's a joke because I never used to cover my hair. I never used to cover my head. I shaved my head on stream. So how does it make sense that I would be self-conscious about my hair? I actually used to put my hair fibers on on stream and, and sneeze and and look like an idiot, you know, bald and with fibers hanging down my forehead. Um, then I shaved my head entirely and look like a, a chubby egg. Like, when did I, what, why am I going to start put wearing a hijab just to cover my head? I don't care, you know? And if, if Allah wanted us not to wear a hijab, I would take it off 100%. Sarah Boone. I know, she's on her ninth attorney. They weren't going to give her one. God, what an awful woman. Sorry, but miss the hair fibers. Chubby egg. That was an era, yeah. I used to pull turtlenecks up to my chin. Yeah, I, I think the amount of times in different ways I've shown myself online, you can't say that I'm self-conscious uh, and hide myself, you know? Especially people who don't ever cam up. They can't claim this. I'm sorry. You don't have that right. You lost that right. The yellow dress. I like that dress. Having a new friend met in real life and having fun together will make all selection channels raging for one year. Yeah, I don't even have to look around to see what to know what people are already saying. She's not really going to meet anybody. She's not, you know, nobody will hang out with her. She can't have friends. It's like impossible for these people to think that anybody could ever like enjoy having time with me. And people, real life people, don't understand that that perspective. No, Danielle, but hijab is, um, you know, it's. It's an order from Allah to wear a hijab. Maybe not niqab, but no, I'm not ordering. But it is a choice either way, but it's still, you know, in the Quran to cover. It's because they don't want to. You did the Penningtons and Torah turtlenecks, yellow dress and heart necklace was a vibe. <laughs> Chantal, that a bummer. You gained five pounds. Time to get back on those walks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm walking. Yeah. Actually, I'm surprised I didn't gain more, to be honest. And I think the walks have something to do with it and just not overeating as much as i used to like i don't order fast food i haven't ordered fast food since thailand still like well i haven't so that does help too you know like honestly sometimes i just like binge out on brussels sprouts i love but i add butter when i do that when i'm being naughty i'm gonna have some butter chicken i made i just bought a jar of butter chicken simmer sauce i'm not buying like 50 spices no way yeah i i eat a lot of sodium yep so hopefully Maybe you gain muscle mass. Maybe from walking, my muscle, my leg muscles hurt. Thanks, Pam. Yeah, I'm feeling all right. I feel like, look at my thumbnail. Look how bloated I was in Thailand. And then now, like, definitely there's a there's a difference. And I feel that as a non-scale victory. So 
I know, salt. Yeah, you have bad days. Especially if you've ever been morbidly obese. Your body doesn't forget that. It always wants to be fat again. You, you're, you're always going to have bad times. Like, that's why people regain weight so easily. Because, like, it's too easy. Not necessarily spooky. It could be, like, water retention as well. It could be... There's no way I ate 18,000 calories over in three days. There's no way. No, it's not. It, I didn't. <laughs> Even when I would full force binge, I wouldn't eat that much. There could be... A, there's a lot of reasons why your weight fluctuates. Which is why I'm not, like, putting too much emphasis on it. You know? A certain reaction channel is only for your sloppy seconds and a woman with a GoFundMe for a burrito bowl. Yeah, true. Your brain thinks you're starving. Exactly, sour gummies. Yeah, the whole journey matters exactly. And I've been on track more than off track. So, thanks, Bella Donna. I retain water a lot too. Like, I bet you in a couple days of doing good again, it will be back down to 151 very fast. Because I'm sure a lot of it is just water from eating so much high sodium. <clears throat> Thank you, Teardrop. Weight fluctuates a lot on personal trainer. Don't beat yourself up. It's normal. Things to go up and down. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for the encouragement. <sighs> it's not fat loss, but it is weight loss, Toad. Yeah, it fluctuates for a lot of reasons. We lost 10 grams since my visit. No more potato corner. Thanks, Spooky. I'm trying, yeah. I think it would be weird if I didn't have any setbacks, but I'm going to try to really just... Not, but... <laughs> Anyway, um, sorry it's kind of a short, um, it's not depression. Yes, Angela, I will. It's, um, I guess it's a form of depression. Because if you, you know, food's been like a coping mechanism. It's been like in my life, like so much. It still is in my life, but um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. It's just like, you know, just like the urges are just so strong. I don't know how to explain it. It's like just an impulse to eat. It's a mixture of things. Yeah, you have to find meaning in life other than food. That's the problem. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing, you know. Spiritual, being more spiritual and, and is really helping too. Um, so sorry for the short live, but I'm going to get off now and prepare dinner for us. And yeah, it's hard, really hard. I think people with addictions are probably some of the strongest people, honestly, because you're battling your demons like really badly every day. It's like really hard. I don't know. And sometimes you just don't want to fight anymore, you know? It takes many tries to make it, yeah. Okay, guys. You can. You can fail a hundred times, but only takes one time to succeed. Exactly. Thank you. I gotta go put my flowers in water and make dinner, so. Bye, guys. Bye.